What's going on everybody? Matt here with Patriot Comics. Welcome to another video. So in today's video, we are on a mission. We're going to the flea market. We're going to some vintage toy and comic book shops, and we're hunting for some cool new stuff to add to the collection. Let's go on this journey, and I can't wait to see what we can find. Stay tuned.
All right, so I'm back home now. Let's take a look at everything that I picked up today on our journey to the flea market and to the two comic and vintage toy shops. I got some really incredible stuff I can't wait to show you. Let's take a look. I ended up picking up Steve the Tramp from the 1990 Dick Tracy toy line. Extra, extra, we all about it. Our big boy Caprice and his men Mumbles, Flattop, Itchy, and Influence have called a meeting with Pruneface to get him to join their mob. Pruneface agrees, and with weapons drawn, they swear to get Dick Tracy once and for all. Suddenly, sirens blare, searchlights fill the room, and the door bursts open. It's Dick Tracy and his right-hand man, Sam Ketchum. Big boy's gang is finished for now, but can Tracy keep him behind bars? Find out. Time. From Playmates. He does have his plank of wood and his knife here. Really excited to add this to my growing Dick Tracy collection. Really cool figure. Got him for only five bucks. I also picked up Spike the Triceratops from the 1996 Mattel toy line known as Extreme Dinosaurs. Claws, muscles, and jaws. Super cool superheroes! Bullseye, Stags, Spike, and T-Bone! Extinction Stinks! Extreme Dinosaur! Part man, part dinosaur! Cool. Fighting to stop the evil Raptor Man! I'll have you for lunch! Eat this! Teeth, claws, muscles, and jaws! Extreme Dinosaur! Teeth, claws, muscles, and jaws! Figure soul separate! Such a cool line of toys. I'm a huge fan of Street Sharks, and then they came out with these Extreme Dinosaurs. I got him for only $10, and I think that was an incredible deal. Such a cool figure here. Not much articulation, but amazing detail. Love the molds on these. Such a cool toy line. Really excited about this one. Two more figures to add to the collection. I got the 1994 Monster Force Frankenstein Monster. Such a cool toy line. Really excited to add this one to my collection. This is actually the first one I have. I can't wait to get a few more to add to the collection here. I paid $18 for him, but he was complete with all of his accessories. I kept them separate, and I have him proudly on display. Looking awesome. I also picked up the Real Ghostbusters Wolfman Monster from 1989. <laughs> Uh, I got him for only $5. One of my favorite toys from the real Ghostbusters line. Such a cool character. Two more awesome figures to add to the collection. I also picked up for only $5. We have Tars Tarkas, the alien monster from Mars. This is from the 1995 Tarzan line. Such a really cool monster character here. Really excited to add this one to the collection. Uh, he does have some electronic features. I need to see if the batteries will work and he will maybe turn back on and make his sounds. A little button on his chest. Uh, but such a cool alien monster. Uh, I feel like we've seen this in John Carter Warlord of Mars. Uh, but this is actually from the Tarzan toy line. So pretty cool though. Very excited to add this one. And for only five bucks. I also picked up the Biker Mice from Mars VHS tape with the first three episodes. Biker Mice from Mars. Biker Mice from Mars. Biker Mice from Mars. This is so cool. I'm a huge fan of Biker Mice from Mars. Of course, I got some of the action figures as well. 
Uh, but finding this VHS tape was so cool. Uh, it was $10, but I think it was worth it because I am such a fan, and I think that is so cool. I actually already watched it over in my VCR, and the thing, it works perfectly, and it's a really fun cartoon. Really excited about this one here. So I ended up finding three comic books for some pretty incredible deals. I got three comic books and I paid $5 for all of them. So, you know, less than $2 a piece, such a deal. We have Web of Spider-Man issue number one. It's a little bit lower grade. It's got some uh, fraying on the corners. It's got some spine ticks. It's a little well-loved, well-read, but for, you know, a dollar and change, I think that was a great deal. Uh, such a cool book. And then I also found this one here, which is Submariner and the Hulk, Tales to Astonish, issue number 82. As you see, it is in very low grade. It has a detached front cover. Uh, the rest of the book is fine. Just the front cover is pretty roached out. Uh, but still, for a dollar and change, I think that was pretty cool. It's going to stay in this Mylar and just be part of my Silver Age Marvel collection. Really excited about that one as well. And then the last book here, we have Captain America and the Falcon, issue number 134. And this one is actually in pretty nice shape for its age. Really, really cool. Uh, decent grade on this one. Great cover. And this is actually the first time the Captain America title was renamed Captain America and the Falcon. Uh, of course, you know, some earlier issues, we saw the first appearance of the Falcon. And then later on in this issue here, 134, they retitled it Captain America and the Falcon, a dynamic duo for sure. Really excited. Three pretty cool comic books, all three of them for $5. All right, so that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed our little journey to a couple different local spots searching for comics and vintage toys and other fun stuff to add to the collection. That's the video for today. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell so you can see when I upload my next video. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.